You ain't scaring nobody. Time to go, boy. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just that he's some slick little greasy-haired European. Clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This is the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh? Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this. Don't worry, 
boys, we come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Sono sti buffoni. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> that is the best woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. So, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? No, of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on a mild. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Boy. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figured... The Braithwaites were gonna hold Jack Ransom. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Bronte no... Who's by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him? Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. 
The Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch. The horse is up ahead. You need help in the head or something? Ah! Watch it! Come on! Stop riding like a damn fool! This way. All right. Let's see what's going on in here. How they expect anyone to rest in peace when they ain't even buried him in the ground? Is that what you want, Marston? Peace? One day. I'll go first. You stay close. We're doing this. I know, but you won't care once we get the boy back. That bastard better keep his word. Of all the ways I thought today was gonna turn out, this sure was not. Oh, damn it, Arthur! How are we gonna get Jack back now? This way. What the hell? Just some damn birds. Come on. All right. Let's see what's going on in here. Oh, someone already cleaned this one out. Keep it down. Don't want him to bolt on us. Skin crawl. Can't believe we're doing this. I know, but you won't care once we get the boy back. That bastard better keep his word. Why do I get the feeling Bronte's got his feet up laughing at us? <laughs> oh, oops, um, sorry, sorry. I had a I bet to drink. Friend died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home. Keep looking. John, 
Someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robbing grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Like I said, let's look around where they jumped. Nothing to show for it, Arthur. Come on. Let's quickly check that spot where it all kicked off. Something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Shit, it's the law. Let's go. Maybe we can get out that gate. Lock. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. Come on. Let's go around the side. Looks fresh. 
still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here. Stay close. Back to Dutch. Think we lost. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. be playing games with us he almost certainly is let's just see come on arthur well you took your time Jack. where's your host ah. like i said you <laughs> took your time ah. i'm glad to see you let's get going what a fine man hey friend uh, thank mr looking. bronte all for right. everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Come on, son. There. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Yeah! What? Passing you. Yep. All right. Let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And fantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know.
Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. Hmm. He is, uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <sighs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Hey, thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family.